what the tasteless, mass-produced American beer Miller Lite <laughs> is to learning the lessons of the disastrous woke ad campaign by the equally tasteless, mass-produced American beer Bud Light. Mm. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back so that they can turn it into good shit for women brewers. Yes, as advertising geniuses throughout the ages have known, the way to appeal to beer-swilling, macho American men is to not show them attractive young members of the opposite sex enjoying the drink, with the clear implication that if they drink enough of the product, they might actually <laughs> one day meet her, but rather like this. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good shit helps farmers grow quality hops. Which is then donated to women brewers to make their own really good shit. But there's definitely more shit out there. In your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good shit too. This is the worst stuff I've ever seen, <laughs> honestly. But yes, no, it goes on. The manufacturers of Miller Lite, which weirdly enough is known as the champagne of beers, <laughs> have decided that the way to win over male drinkers is to tell them that their beer is made by manure and worms and feminists and of the old composted girly <laughs> magazines. What could possibly go wrong?